making your breakfast, what's it look like? What's Bacon and eggs, OK? What are you doing? Don't start. You're usually in bed when we get up. Shut up, sit down and get this down your necks. We ain't got time, we got to get to the bus stop. We'll get you a lift. I'll just have an apple. Sit down! Wake you when I got up. No, I was worn out. Well, I slept well. The film didn't give you nightmares then. <laughs> it was a laugh, the film. The whole evening, really. It's a change for me. Yeah, I enjoyed it. Some tea in the pot if you want. Right. Do you want to make some toast or something? No, it's fine. Right, well, I better go off to work. Scott. Last night, watching a video was one thing, but sleeping together wasn't part of the plan. No. It happened, though. It was fun. Yeah, it was. But it was a one-off, right? Sure. You lodger, me landlady. <laughs> Let's keep it that way. Yeah, no problem. Don't let it go cold. See you. Thanks. Uh, you might as well wait in here. What for? Well, I'm in no hurry. I might go in somewhere. I might go into Leeds, meet a few mates. So what lessons you got today, eh? What? What lessons have you got? It's a simple enough question. What do you care? Don't get lippy, I'm just showing an interest. French, maths, double English, double science. Right. Two a foo? Eh? French homework that I learnt, bet you ain't got a clue what it means, have you? Oh, never had much time for French. Thought not. Uh, what are you doing dinner time? Having my dinner. See you later. Um, what does it mean, that bit of frog? You're the best dad in the world. Hey, I can find out what that means, you know. Oh! Are you alright? Yeah, I'm, I'm fine. You're right, Sam. Hi, Sam. Good to see you back. Oh, thanks. Do you know pain is your body's way of telling you it's time to stop? No, pain is my body's way of telling me that I should have started training for this ages ago. I mean, I knew it would be an uphill struggle, but I didn't realise I'd have a mountain to climb. Yeah, but it'd be worth it. You bet. I'm hoping to take at least five minutes off yesterday's time. Oh, OK, but we could walk today if you like. You're trying to skive, aren't you? No, Terry, I'm, I'm thinking of you. Listen to your body. Listen to what it's telling you. That's what the doc said, and I will. OK, but my body's telling me nice hot bath, lots of bubbles, cup of tea... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, look, you can have all of that after, when you've earned it. You're a bully, Terry. I thought you Aussies were supposed to be tough. Yeah, well, I'm the exception that proves that rule. Come on. I will never get round. Come. Oh, good morning, Sam. Hello, Mrs. Birch. <laughs> Thanks for all your letters. Oh, you're welcome. It's good to see you back. Is it? Yes, you've served your sentence, and as far as I'm concerned, that's the end of the matter. Thanks. Hey, Fatag, when did you get out? Yesterday. You should bring back Angie and put you out of your misery, eh? Oh, take no notice. You get yourself a job. Put prison behind you. Yeah, my dad says he'll help me with that. I'll, I'll do my best. Good. <laughs> You'll like this. <laughs> You're right, I do. What is it? We've been nominated for a North Yorkshire Enterprise Award. The winner will be a company which has made an outstanding contribution to the economy of the Dales. It's a posh steward, Harrogate. Nice one. We'll walk it. Don't see why not. I reckon we should all go. Look in somewhere special, make a night of it. Good idea. Can I leave that with you? Just you two and Tom. And Carl. The old man's gonna love that. It's about time those two kissed and made up. This would be a good opportunity. It could also ruin the whole evening. Why does everything always have to be a drama with him? Take no notice of him. Book a room for Carl. Leave it with me. Oh, 
Hi, Debbie. Meet you off the bus? Oh, I don't know, I'm busy. Yeah, I do want to see you, but what about your dad? I mean, you saw what he was like last night. And Leeds. Right, I'll be there. See you later. You need to click here, click there, and then it's done. What brings you here? Well, somehow I knew you'd be dying to buy me a drink. I thought I felt a twitch in me wallet. Hmm. I've got some quotes and I'm ready to make the book in. Do you want me to include partners? What? Oh, you won't be interested. Uh, champagne reception, gourmet dinner, five-star hotel. Mm. I think the answer's yes. Yeah, if you want to see your next birthday. So, Sadie, Charity, out of cars coming, Chaz. I don't think so. Dad ain't gonna want Chaz there, no way. No, she can stay at home and study dress sense. Come on, James. What do you want? Well, just a couple of minutes of your time. Go on, then. Right, it's about our sham, our favour to ask. No. Uh, no, I am just yet. You want me to give him his job back? Well, I thought you could uh, give him a second chance, you know, put him on probation, if you like. I refer you to uh, my previous answer. No. I was hoping you'd show a bit of compassion here. You know where the door is. <laughs> no, is it? Right. What are you doing here? I thought you were in Leeds. Why well, change my mind? I've come to give you a lift home. I thought you'd be pleased. Yeah, thanks. Oh, where's Daz? Detention. Well, come on, then. Get in. So, do you fancy going into one and get a burger or something? Oh, here he is, public enemy number one. Get lost. <laughs> so, what did you do? Told me science teacher where to get off. Why? Said I was messing about in the lab. You should just blow the place up, do everyone a favour. He's a geek. Oh, hooligan. We're going to let him come with us? You what? Oh, we're going into Watton. We're going to get a bite to eat. I can't be bothered. It looks like it's just you and me, kiddo. I can't, sorry. Why? Well, I've got a meeting at church. Another one? Well, yeah, it's Harvey Cecil in a couple of days. Well, you better go then, hadn't you? Well, it was a lovely idea. We'll do it another time. Yeah, sure. No problem. Hi, babe. I don't want to get too close. I stink. You always wear a smooth talker. Oh, it's been a long day. I didn't hear you get up this morning. No, it was half five. I didn't want to wake you. Yeah, well, you should have done. I'd have sent you off to work with a smile on your face. I missed out then, didn't I? Well, maybe we can catch up later. I thought you were working. Yeah, after I finished. Yeah, why not? You come to the pub? Ah, uh, maybe later. I need a shower and a shave and some sleep. Build up your strength. I'll see you later. Well, I didn't know he was going to come and meet me. He changed his mind and he decided to stay home and look after me. I think he's trying to be the perfect dad, that's all. Where are you now? Right, I'm on my way.
Is it black tie? I didn't notice. I'll ask Chloe when she's finished. Sadie's planning Five to go rooms, into Leeds. that's right. Mr King and his three sons and one for Miss Chloe Atkinson. Fortune either way. Facts will be fine, yes. Thanks very much. Bye. Chloe, is it black tie? Oh, yeah, it's the works. Sadie's going to want something extra special. Oh. Finding it hard, is it? Not as hard as he did inside. Did he have a rough time? Yeah, he's not said much. Pride, you know. Poor Sam. You know, when I were a Bernacle fighter, there were times when I got knocked half senseless. Saw stars for a day or so. But then I were right. He'll be shame. You'll see. Why did you give him these? Might cheer him up. Oh, that's uh, that's very good of you, Emily. Ciao. Yeah. What did you say to your dad? I said I was at a harvest meeting. You can't use that for much longer. I'll think of something else. I know, planning for Christmas. I don't think so. I'm not going to stop coming out here. I know you're not. I'm just saying, let's be careful. I know. I mean, what if I'd have got to the bus stop before either? Well, you didn't, did you? Yeah, but what if I'd have been kissing? He'd have seen us. You won't do that at the bus stop. What if I went out myself? Get lost. He's not stupid. I know. But I don't think he's going to come and meet me every day. I bet he doesn't even keep it up for a week. He's just trying to prove he's a good dad, that's all. <sighs> you reckon? Yes. He caught my breakfast, bought me a phone and even offered to take me into Hartman for a burger. We can still do that. I'll bring you back. Uh, no, you won't. Don't worry. I'm not going anywhere. I'm going to go somewhere a bit more private. <sighs> We're in the middle of nowhere. Besides, we haven't got much time. Five rooms. What? It's a confirmation from the hotel. Five rooms. Oh, idiots. They put me down for one. I gave them my name as contact. I'll give them a call, cancel it. And do it now before they charge us. Don't be so tight, Matt. What? If the room's already booked, Chloe might as well come. No, it was a mistake. I'll sort it. Nonsense. You're part of the team now. Come along and enjoy yourself. I don't want to cause any trouble. Won't upset the books, will it, Matt? Nah, I suppose not. If you're sure, thanks. Are they biting today? The wheel. Doesn't matter, I'll ask you the same question. I was just passing. Don't you mean trespassing? I didn't know it was private land. Now, don't insult my intelligence. You still haven't said who you are? No, I haven't. Do, do you walk at home farm? Oh, can't fool you, can I? Gamekeeper. Estate manager. And I'm not very happy about layabouts like you helping themselves to our fish. I didn't catch anything. Well, it makes no odds. You shouldn't be here. What are you going to do? Well, I can't let you go. You've broken the law, haven't you? Oh, you're not going to tell police, are you? Well, that bothers you, does it? Oh, please don't. They'll lock me up again. Oh, of course, you've only been out a couple of days, haven't you? How do you know? I've met your dad. Big bloke, beard, flat cap. Yeah. So, it runs in the family, does it? Poaching? Come on. Where are we going? You need to do some thinking. Oh, you're not going to take me to police. Move. I'll spend all night with you. See you later on. I'll give you a ring if my dad goes out. Ten all right. Yeah, great. Aha! Another generous benefactor. Hey, what's all this? Terry's getting sponsored to do the Dale's Dash, so hand in pocket, please. As if he'd offer anything but fluff. Charity begins at home for the Dingles. Yeah, well, usually a bit right. But this sounds like a good cause that I'd like to patronise. And you, lucky lady, can get me a pint while you tell me what all this is in there, of. It's for the Hotton Stroke Support Group. Oh, well, I dare say I could manage a bobber too. Seems to have put a smile back on his face. Oh, you reckon? Yeah, I've not seen him looking so perky for ages. Well, that's one of the benefits of regular exercise. Is that right? Yeah, definitely. We've got a strict training programme. You should try it. 
<laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> Be the welder good. Hey, observe. There's one that's for you for, huh? Yeah, well, <laughs> let me know if you change your mind. I could take you under my other wing. All right. No, you concentrate on Terry. You're doing a grand job. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, that's what folk need when they're down. Someone to have a bit of faith in them. Well, I'm glad to do it. He's a good mate. Do you want me to get you another? No, thanks. I've got to go and get TJ from Terry. You OK? Not last night, is it? I thought we were calling cool about all of that. Yeah, we are. You don't want to know. Try me. Well, it looks like I might not be able to get a mortgage. You're joking. I thought they'd chucked them around nowadays. Not to single mothers on a part-time minimum wage, they don't. So how long is it going to take? I don't know. But I can't expect Terry to wait indefinitely. It wouldn't be fair. Well, there is another possible solution. What? We get a joint mortgage. You and me. Come on. Yep. We have a mature relationship, remember? You landlady, me lodger. Purely business. At the moment, what if we fall out? Well, why would that need to be a problem? We'd have contracts and all that kind of stuff. It'd be legally binding for both of us. Oh, I don't know. Well, I'm not going to lie, I do have my uh, reasons for wanting to make it a more permanent arrangement. But... I see. <laughs> Come on, what have you got to lose? There. <laughs> Sam! What are you doing in there? Oh, he locked me in. He said he wanted to teach me a lesson. I, I don't know, I've not even done all wrong. Not really. All right, Sam, calm down. I, I don't want to go back to prison. I've only just got out. Will you help me, please? Oh, well, I can only help you if you tell me what happened. Slowly and calmly. He might come back. Slowly and calmly. Well, I, I would. Well, I, I won't really, because I, I, I had it. When he come along, I, I thought they were going to... But he, he, in there. So you were... I, I were fishing. Uh, and he is... Um, the estate manager. I see. And he said... The police. Yeah, but he... He locked me in there. You poor thing. He said I had to do some thinking. Yeah, we well, had no right to lock you up. Oh, I won't go to prison, will I? No, of course not. I promise. Come on, I'll take you back to home farm. To see Zoe? No, Zoe's away. I'm looking after the house for her. Come on. We're still on for later? What we should have done this morning? Oh, yeah, right. I'll see if I can get off early. Great. You know, Carla, I really want it to work out between us two. Me too. I think we'd have more of a chance if we lived together alone. What, you mean without Chloe? Well, yeah, she's a nice girl and I like her, but it was only supposed to be temporary. Yeah, I know. Well, we should ask her if she's got any plans to move out. Yeah, all right, I'll have a word with her later. I'm not being horrible. I know you're not. I just want us to do what we want, where we want, and when we want, really. Hi, I'll have an orange juice, please. Sit down, I'll bring it over. Why, well, thank you, kind sir. Now's a chance. Mm. Looking for this? Or are you looking for these? All right. Hiya. This is on the house. What made you think I wanted a beer? Mm, the lemmings jump off cliffs. I'm in training and I was thinking more of an orange juice. Oh, moderation, Terence. You need to relax. I just don't want to undo all the good work that we've been doing, that's all. Oh, all right, then. Well, I'll just uh, pour this away. No, no, no. I, hey, yeah. Hang on. <laughs> don't suppose a couple of pints will do me any harm. What the hell are you doing with condoms, eh? I asked you a question. Do you want to be a slapper like your mum? Shut up. So what are these for, eh? Answer me. I got them from school. Don't lie. They showed us them in a lesson, so I nicked some. You're lying. I haven't used any. I don't believe you. I knew you'd go off on one, that's why I hid them. So what is this for, eh? 
What are you wearing? Show me. You think you're clever, do you, eh? Hmm? Grown up. Putting it about. Make up. Shut up! You stupid Get up! Debbie, are you gonna tell me what's been going on? 